you'd like her. She's addled with desire. I want to sing it. <coughs> you can't sing it. It's 95% illegible. The papyrus is in smithereens. <laughs> Sappho's just a jumble of fragments. I can see some longer parts. It's junk! All broken up! Then let's sing some verses! <coughs> sing to us the one with violets in her lap, far more sweet sounding than a lyre, golder than gold. There's a third component to the voice, in addition to logos and phonos. Muthos, the language of myth. I bid you sing of Abanthus, taking up your lyre as now again long. Muthos signifies a kind of formulated speech, the way to tell a story, the way to weave a spell, to hex, to cant, to curse. Eros, the melter of limbs, now See, again stirs. It's me. dangerous when the sound of the voice separates itself from language in phonos. But the danger of Muthos is that it uses language like sound. Logic, meaning, all trumped by effect. It's speech, but it doesn't make sense. There's no covenant between word and meaning. There's nothing real to be referred to. There's only language making a spectacle of itself. Logos is the pursuit of truth through demonstrative rationality. But the truths of Muthos are metaphors. That is to say, lies. Their hearts grew cold. They let their wings die. You think it's beautiful, but it's empty. It can't teach you anything. It can't help you understand. No messenger of spring. Don't you want to understand? With a voice of love. Do you just want to be captivated? These things for my companions I shall now. 